Massaw tribe of Varnertown Indians, an indigenous group located right here in the Low Country, recently stepped forward to ask for federal recognition. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh joins us now live after speaking with tribal members about how this title could help preserve their heritage in the long run. Caitlin. And in Roth, the Wasamasaw tribe here in Berkeley County is a long-standing indigenous group. And if you pass by on 17A, you may have seen this before, these historical markers that tell a little bit about their history and their heritage, but they say they want the community to know a lot more about them than just that. This tribe was recognized on the state level back in 2005, but they say a federal title would give them resources they need to help preserve their heritage and their history. The group has received support from several mayors and community officials in the surrounding areas. And Representative Nancy Mace introduced a bill called H.R. 5083 to Congress, requesting the recognition for the tribe late last month. The Wasamasaw tribe was one of 19 Native American tribes along the South Carolina coastline from the late 1500s and onward. They're what you call a settlement tribe. Their existing community formed by Cherokee, Catawba, Edisto, and Etuwan Native Americans. Tribal members say their contribution to the low country has been immense, and it's definitely something they want to keep going. We've contributed um, throughout history and have made a indelible mark. Um, these were our lands from colonial contact and we're still here. We need that assistance to preserve our community because we don't see where we have been pushed to and settled since the 1700s it's going to be here in another 30 years. The Wasmasaw tribe says one of the best ways of preserving identity for them is education and awareness. So they encourage community members to reach out with any questions they have and if they want to learn more to reach out to them. Live in Berkeley County, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.